right, welcome to Tina's Tasty Treats once again. Um, the suggestion was homemade burgers, so here we go, this is what we're going to do. And last time the biscuits that were made were, um, the recipe was donated by Ruth, so thank you very much Ruth. Um, it actually was a little bit different to what you did, so I would love you to make mine and then compare the difference and see what you think. So anyway, so what we need today is, we've got our mince, We've got our cheese, most important bit, same as chocolate. We've got our herbs and our salt and pepper, our eggs and our onions. So we're going to get started. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut up this onion. Can you remember what to do using the bridge method and the claw method? So I'm just going to do the bridge method first. So I'm getting the claw method. I'm going to cut him into little, little squares because this has actually got to go into the, into the meat mix. All onions grow under the ground and have a hollow green or bluish green tube that grow above the ground. Onions are one of the easiest vegetables to grow. They will grow in just about any type of soil as long as they get sunshine and the right amount of water, but they will grow best in soil that is loose and acidic. Onions like for the soil to be moist but not too wet. And if the soil is too wet, the onions will rot in the ground. In most climates, you can plant onions in the mid to late spring. And they, they can be started from seeds, but most people start onions from sets, which are tiny little onions. So I think I've got enough, I might put that bit to the side. We can always have that on the top of the burger. Let's cut all this up. Small bits, just be careful, mind your fingers. Let's put our onions, our onions in there. So, so we've got our onions. Let's bring our meat over. So we need to mix this meat. Put that over there. So did you notice that to change the chopping board? So can you remember green is for your vegetables and your salad and your red that is for your raw meat. So we need to remember all this for when we uh, when we come back and get this back to normal, don't we? So I mix in the mince, look. And the recipe tells me to add the herbs and the salt and pepper. So I'm going to sprinkle that in because this is going <clears> to <throat> make our burgers nice and tasty. And we're going to add our onion. leave bits out if you don't like onion it doesn't matter you haven't got to put onion in your burger Just give it a mix. so what we're going to do I'm going to put this over there I'm going to use my hands so I've washed my hands so what I need to do is mix all this because you've got to make like pâtés like a burger shape oh that's a big bit won't have that bit in not. Yeah, that'll be another oops. There's a lot of oops in these videos. <laughs> Actually, it does say to add an egg, but this mixture is quite runny. So I'm just going to have a go, just to see. It might, what I might do is just add a tiny bit of the egg, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to do a lot. So obviously if it's, can you see, look, can you see the egg, how runny it's gone. So I'm just going to leave that on there. Right, here we go. Let's just mix it all in together. It's like doing pastry. Get rid of those bits. Right, so this recipe does four pâtés, is what they call them. So let's have a look. See how many, how many we can do. The texture is very slimy on these. We'll just get nice, four nice ones out of it. It's a bit big, put that one in there. Let's have a look. Okay. So we need to flatten them down to make them into a burger shape. Just using your hands, look. If you don't like touching meat, you can always um, put some gloves on. As long as you wash your hands well, I need to make that a bit more. There we go. 
This is a nice, quick, easy recipe, and it's quite a healthy one as well. Probably not really bad bit, but if you're looking at bad bits, it would be the burger. But you could have brown bread if you wanted to. I have actually uh, got white, so I prefer white. One more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice patty. Yeah. Can you see them? All ready to go in. There you go. Let me show you. Right. Can you see them? Nice four burgers. Right, so I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to take this over to the oven and we're going to fry them. As per the recipe, we are cooking the burgers for five to six minutes on either side. To successfully shallow fry, the oil must be hot enough so the food sizzles as soon as it hits the pan, but not so hot that the outside becomes brown while the inside does not cook through. So when the oil is at the correct temperature, foods do not absorb much of it when they are fried which may help your burgers to stay a little bit more healthier. Remember, while frying, do not have your handle hanging over the cooker top or lean over the flame. Always switch the ring off after frying and more so when you are cooking with gas. So these have been cooking for about six to seven minutes. So what I'm doing, I'm just putting the thermometer in and the temperature of the food should be 70 degrees and above. And this is 84. Brilliant. If you have got a thermometer, just be very careful doing this. Maybe even put it on a plate before you do it, because it's very warm. So, there we go. If you want to have a look at this, is our burgers. As you can see, they have shrunk a little bit, but they'll still look nice in a pot. So, what I'm going to do is so I'm going to switch this off. I'm going to transfer them to a plate. Just take them off the heat.